four egg whites, two blueberry waffles, sugar-free syrup, cold brew coffee with a scoop of birthday cake, protein powder, and two stevias. We're gonna eat this. I uh, have to be kind of quiet now. The children over here, say hello to the people. We got little, the protege over here. The pro, we wanna say hi to people? You wanna say hi to the people? So today we pretty much have plans to go to the gym, come back, and I kind of want to make a recipe that I saw from the legendary Aussie Fitness from um, Instagram. We'll see how those turn out, fam. But for now, I'm gonna take it. Gym. Um, I'm trying to incorporate a lot more full body days in my routine, just because with Haley here, I'm not gonna be able to hit the gym five or six days a week like I used to, just because I have her, I have community service, I have like my days kind of just jam packed right now. So my goal is to go to the gym. Hit three days of full body, along with like two days of cardio, which I could do here. So today we pretty much did some deadlifts, some upright rows, uh, shoulder presses, a lot of compound movements. I, I don't normally like sweat. You know what I'm saying? I could like go hiking up a mountain in the midsummer and I won't sweat. It's kind of weird. But when I do these full body workouts, like I stay hot. You know, like super sets, compound sets, um, compound movements. So my temperature is like burning. There's someone on Instagram. His name is Aussie Fitness, and he's like the king of these low calorie meals because he just bumps them out like every single day and they're like under a minute and they look amazing. And they're really tried any of them because they're, I don't know, I just don't want to like go and get like all these proprietary ingredients that I'm not gonna use afterwards. But this one looked pretty easy. And they're chicken strips, and I'm gonna make them for y'all. And let you guys know, you should try them, so. Let's go, let's go, I'm, I'm hungry, I'm excited. Recipe in the description down below. I do have some chicken tenders ready to go for the for another round. It'll be cool if you guys have like a larger air fryer where you can just put them all at once. But I gotta put them all, I gotta put them in two different rounds. But we're still gonna taste those fresh off the oven while these cook. Cause this is an honest review. I'm not gonna do the whole aesthetics thing where I try to make it look pretty. Because at the end of the day, it's just for me, it's not for IG. So I'm gonna sauce it up with um, sweet chili. He makes like his own like buffalo honey barbecue sauce or whatever in his um, video, but I'm just gonna put some GQs. And it's kind of interesting because in the recipe, he doesn't require us to flip them mid air fry. Come on, air fryer. Do your thing, family. There we go. Right off the bat, they do look pretty crispy. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if I would about the actual cereal, which is what he uses, uh, you crush it up. So there's like actual like big chunks of cereal in there. So I'm pretty sure that helps with the crunch factor. I bought the crumbs and again, look, look at these bad boys. They look like some freaking chicken strips, yo. Aussie Fitness, you, you might be on or something here. All right guys, and now this is the chicken strips. They do look pretty crispy. I think I'm gonna go in for a bite just like without any sauce, see how they taste. Mm. Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. That was good. And that's without the sauce. Wow. I'm gonna have Yoss try one. Cause without the sauce, they're pretty good. I know you're not hungry, but can you try this? Mm. Oh, that's spicy. Ah. Really? Really good. Yeah, I put some cayenne pepper, so. The mist is 
who is does not like healthy food thinks these are great. The only thing is, I think they might have come a little bit undercooked. I feel like they could, no, actually they're cooked. They actually cooked perfectly, to be honest with you. I could eat these without the sauce. And now, next time I'm gonna add a little bit more cayenne pepper, because I love, love spice. I do feel like some of it came a little bit undercooked. Maybe like by a smidget. Maybe by like a little tiny smidget. Like it's not pink. I feel like I could have used a couple more minutes. First recipe review in a while. 10 out of 10. Hands down. It was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Now we'll be lovers and friends. And we got four people in the bed. There's not even, where am I supposed to sleep in this bed? Look at that. We got Raggedy Ann, Fat Boy, Cute Girl, And mom. <laughs> All right guys, so it's 9.30 at night and I gotta make something to eat quick because at the end of the day, we gotta get our last meal in. Super simple meal. We have two servings of shrimp, raw shrimp, seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, some fish sauce, and some spicy, oh shit, not that one. And some spicy, here, let me show y'all, that's pretty good stuff. Some spicy Szechuan sauce, y'all should get that. And then I'm gonna put this big old bag of vegetables with noodles, put it together. Bada bing, bada boom. And then on top, we're gonna add some Kung Pao stir fry sauce from Panda Express. And guess what? No, it's not high calorie. For one serving, it's 20 calories. And that is 35 grams, so I'm gonna add two servings. And uh, it's too easy, man. It's too easy. This is my life, guys. I did not sign up to have two babies. You know why this guy is scared? This guy is scared. He ran to me in the kitchen all shaky. You know why? I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys what he's scared of right now, okay? You already see, look, look, he's, he's already looking back. Chill, bro. This is not gonna do anything to you. Look, look how hard. Look how. It's okay. It's okay. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. Dude, chill. So I bought Haley this thing that like you turn off the lights, and it shoots like these little tiny lasers like up in the sky. They have like little galaxy and stars. It's kind of like a nightlight, but it looks pretty cool because it covers the whole room. So it's like this little astronaut guy, right? He looks up at the at the roof. It's okay, bro. It's okay. Alright, you're a poodle. You're one of the toughest breeds out there. Look at this little thing over here, this little chihuahua, she don't care about anything, bruh. She don't care about anything. She ain't scared. You ain't scared, huh? You just, it makes you happy, doesn't it? You know, it's crazy, man. Come on, toughen up. So you see with the bowl, you can only put the sauce on top and you gotta like mix it all together. Kind of a little pain in the ass if you ask me. So put it in a plate, you get a lot more surface area. And we're gonna put two servings, which is gonna be 70 grams, which is gonna be a lot. So maybe just, maybe one serving is fine, let me see. Yeah, I think one serving is plenty. So once again, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna devour this and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please leave some more suggestions on recipes to review. Obviously these recipes should be like on IG or somewhere like easily attainable. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow, most likely. Love y'all. Peace.